You've got questions? She's got answers. It's Ask Nurse Lisa. Nurse Lisa here with another edition of Ask Nurse Lisa. We have another exciting viewer question today, and you know I love those. Those are my favorite Ask Nurse Lisa episodes to do. But I'm also excited about technology. Technology has allowed me to talk to and answer questions people in Korea, Australia, England, all around the United States and around the world. I've even gotten to answer a question from an alien from another planet. You don't believe me? Well, you can look through past Ask Nurse Lisa footage and you can see that. At least there's times when he seems a little alien. Look at his videos, you'll agree. But today's video is a first for this show. Interspecies. That's right, today's viewer question comes from a cat. Not just any cat. He's a cat that's very, very smart, surfs the web, has his own YouTube channel, now, granted, he's a little bit, well, a little bit of a hypochondriac. He's been really obsessing about his tail lately. I'm really hoping that his question today is not about his tail, because you know I've had questions like that in the past, and I didn't really want to go there, but... Let's get right to it. Let's see what our viewer question of the week is sent in by none other than the Swartzcaster. Take it away. Hey, Nurse Lisa. I got a question for you. When uh, one of my people got pregnant, she was told she shouldn't handle my litter or my poop. What's the dealio? She could handle it before she got pregnant. She can handle it after she had the baby. What's, what's up there? Ciao. You're correct. That is not a wives' tale. Women who are pregnant are at risk of an infection called toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis is not caused by a bacteria. It's caused by a protozoan, a one-cell organism that has kind of a complex life cycle. And it just so happens that their life cycle when a cat is infected with it, the cat releases that protozoan through its stool. A majority of mammals do not do that, but when it's in cats, it gets passed to other animals in that fashion. So, women who are pregnant really do not need to be dealing with litter boxes or if they have an outside cat, they don't need to be gardening or dealing with sandboxes, places where a cat would like to go. And if they do go out there and do all those things, they need to be using gloves. And then when they get through uh, doing whatever they're doing, they need to go ahead and wash their hands. Now, the primary risk is to the unborn baby, to possible defects and and things happening to the unborn child. This would be for an original infection, in other words, for a woman who's never had this kind of infection before. That is the most serious scenario that your obstetrician would be trying to get you to avoid. But keep in mind that this protozoan is also found in uncooked meat, such as pork, lamb, bear, things like that. So, you really need to be very, very careful. Everybody needs to be very, very careful with uncooked meats, especially those varieties. So, my dear furry friend, I hope that has answered your question. If you would like to send me a question, you can send it to AskNurseLisa at Yahoo.com. That's AskNurseLisa at Yahoo.com. I will enjoy taking your video file and putting it here on our channel and spreading the word to others. 
and I look forward to seeing you next week here on Ask Nurse Lisa, and until then, be happy, be healthy.